Hello, welcome back to my channel, Lomzi Sews. Today's sewing project, we are going to be learning how to draft draped skirts. If that's what you're looking for, then continue watching till the end to see how I made this. It's going to be detailed and very simple for anybody to make. I've made a draped skirt before on my channel, but this style is another design. So continue watching till the end to see how I made this. To make this draped skirt, you can actually use any fabric. I have here chiffon, but you can use chamois, you can use chiffon, you can use duchess. You can also use crepe, but the crepe has to be a light one. It doesn't have to be thick. So what I have here is chiffon, and I like the fabric because it's actually very dry. So it will give me exactly what I'm looking for. So I have here two and a half yards. Next, we'll be working with our skirt pattern. I have a basic skirt block that I have drafted and is on my channel. That's what we're going to be using. If you have been watching my videos and if you have watched the, my basic skirt pattern, you will see that my basic skirt pattern comes like this. So this is the front of the skirt and this is the back. So we are going to start draping now. So here I have the hip line and this is the waistline of course and then this is the side seam for the front and the back and the length I'm using for the drape skirt is 35 inches. 35 is perfect for this if you want the same effect on the thumbnail. So we are going to be starting this draping now. The very first thing we have to do is to eliminate all the darts. We are supposed to eliminate all the darts so that it will be easy for us to drape the skirt. So for us to eliminate the darts, you have to transfer this dart to the side seam. Whatever you have here, transfer it to the side seam. The same thing on the back. You're going to transfer this to the side. So you have to measure what you have from this place to this place and from here to here. Whatever that is, take it out from here. The same thing with this one. Whatever this is, take it out from here. So I'll do just that and show you. So I'm going to rub off all these ones. I'll rub this off, rub this off, and rub this off so that you don't get confused. Next, we are going to decide where we want the slits to be. For me, I want it to be from center front to the bust pan. So from here to here, whatever your bust pan is, mark it straight. And that's what, where we're going to be using for our slits. Next, you're going to decide where you want the slit to start from. That is where the curve of the hem will start from. I would suggest you make it 20 inches. So from the waistline down to here, you get 20 inches and you mark it. And that's where you're going to make the curve for the hem. So for me, this is where 20 inches is. So I'm going to make this mark here. This is the first mark. Next, you're going to decide how wide you want the draping to be. So from the waistline, I'll suggest you come down one inch at least. You can see on the thumbnail that the picture had, this place was a bit flat. So I'll come down here one inch and I'm going to from here to where I want the draping to stop. I want to make it five inches. So the length of the draping would be five inches. So from here, measure five inches downwards. So for me, this is where the five inches is. So I'm going to mark this here like this. We're going to mark spaces for the draping, how many draping you want. So inside this place, you're going to divide your draping here. You decide if you want four lines of drape or you want five, depending on how many you want. Just between from here, from here to here, you draw it in. So I'm going to make the spacing of mine to be one inch apart. I'm going to mark it. So this is the line for my draping. Note, the side seam, we're not going to be closing the side seam. If you close the side seam, trust me, you will always have issues with this drape skirt. So we're not going to close the side seam. And even if your client wants adjustment, where do you adjust it from? So you have to leave this side seam. It, it won't be closed. So, so next thing we have to do is to go ahead and add sewing allowance all these places. You go ahead, add half inch sewing allowance. At the back, you can add one inch. But you're going to add half inch sewing allowance all around. So I'll add that and we'll continue. This is it. After adding all the sewing allowance, I'll go ahead and cut off all this excess.
this is it after cutting it out now i would like to use this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers and if this is your first time coming across my channel consider subscribing and hit on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorials and remember i am a pattern maker if you want me to make any sewing pattern for you be it a draping effect or a, a, a bustier corset anything just let me know or you want a sewing pattern for your ready to wear hit me on on my about page and i'm going to drop my socials in the description section so you'll be able to reach me i don't know if i have already said this but if you have not given this video a thumbs up guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed if this is your first time coming across my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell icon. Now let's continue with this tutorial. Guys, this is where I didn't want to confuse you people from beginning. So I had my pattern paper unfold all this while. <laughs> Sorry, but I didn't want to confuse anything. I wanted it to be as simple as anything so that even a beginner would be able to understand this. So I'm going to... It's either you transfer all your markings here, but you don't actually need it. So with this crease, you will know that this is the center of the skirt for the draping. So I'm just going to mark the lines for the draping and we we'll continue from there. So I want you guys to remember that this is the center back and this is also the center back. We have added sewing allowance all around. So we are going to mark the lines for the draping of the skirt. So I would like to mark, I don't want to touch the dart on the side seam. So you just come down something like this. Make sure it doesn't touch the dart on the, on the side seam. So I'm just going to use this like this. I'll just make um, a dotted lines first to see how the spacing I will have. So this would be the lines for the draping. Next, we're going to go ahead and make the curve for the hem. Remember where we marked for the curve of the hem. So I'm going to place this like this. You can use your curve ruler to do this or you can use uh, your hand. You can use free hand. Just go ahead and um, use a broken lines to do it first before you now finally draw the final length. The final line. So I'm just going to use my curve ruler to do this. So I'll go ahead and cut this place out. I'll go ahead and cut this place open. Now, these are the two separate patterns. I'll go ahead and add sewing allowance to that. So, I've already added sewing allowance to the hem on the two sides so i'll just go ahead and add sewing allowance to this one so i'm adding half inch sewing allowance to each side so i'm just going to blend this line in like this just blending like that and then we'll cut this open i'll go ahead and mark all my notches this is where the skirts will stop the slit will start here so i'll mark here i'll also mark here very very important and you're also going to mark where the draping starts and where the draping stops that will help you to you know um, drape it properly and you're going to take the measurement of the draping from where it started to where it ended because we're going to be gathering this by the time you gather it you're going to bring it back to the original measurements we have here so I'll go ahead and use my pattern notcher and notch all this place so that it's easier for me to note when later. So I'll just go ahead and notch all these places. If you, have, you, don't, if you don't have a pattern notcher, you can just go ahead and make a V like this. You can make a V like this. You cut it like this and like that. If you don't have a pattern notcher, that way you'll be able to know where, your, where it started and where it ended. 
So I'll do all of that and I come back to you guys. So guys, for me, this is where the sewing pattern ends for me. I believe this should be like this so that, you know, the designer will know where they can drape on. They can decide to make their draping more or less instead of you going ahead to drape it and sell the pattern draped already and all the pattern comes the same way. I think I feel that it's better to have the pattern like this so that the designer will now go further and drape it according to how they want the fullness to be let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'm going to go ahead and cut all these places open and we're going to do a slash and spread and make the drapings so i'm going to set one aside so that we'll be working on them differently so i'll just go ahead and slash this open So I'll go ahead and slash this open but before I slash it open I'm going to add another pattern paper under it so that I'll be able to uh, have something under it after draping it. So we are going to be gathering this. I'll go ahead and draw the lines for the draping so that you know how you're going to draw it. You're actually you can actually use your free hand to draw this. I'm just making sure my lines touches all the heads of the the draped each draped line so that's what i'm actually making sure i'm doing so you can just use your hand to do this so i'll just go ahead and cut this out So as you can see, this is the pattern for the one side of the skirt. So you go ahead and gather all this, all these spaces. Remember, we have notched where this is going to stop. So remember, it is here. Can you see? So you go ahead and drape this. Let me just try and see if this, this is paper so you will not really see what we're doing. So I will, you know, cut this out on my fabric and I'm going to drape it. Then you will do the same thing you have done now to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side and show you guys. I've gone ahead and cut it on fabric as you can see. This is the second side. Can you see? So I'll go ahead now. First of all, I'm going to close the side seam, the dart on the side seam. And I will go ahead and gather this. Remember you made your notches. Look at my notches there. So I'll just go ahead and gather this like this. Can you see? Can you see how it's looking? This is it. Yeah, this is how the gathers should look. Can you see? It's very simple, guys. <laughs> Let me stretch this a bit. It's very simple, guys. So this is how it's going to look. So my draping will stop here and my slit will start here. So I'm going to do all of that and get back to you guys. So guys, you will either add this to your corset top or you're going to make it as a skirt. Whichever one you decide. And for the draping, you can decide you want to gather it. Just gather it and sew it on the two sides. Or you're going to sew it straight and you start draping. It that means you have to drape on your mannequin or on your client. Whichever one you want. But guys, this is giving. Oh my goodness. This is giving. I can't wait to see how you guys will do this. Either you're going to make it as a skirt or you're going to make this with a corset. I want to see your pictures. Tag me on Instagram at Lomzy Souls or my ready to wear at Lomzy One. Yeah, guys, I'll see you in my next video. I'll show you the final look.